This is going to bring spatial audio to Android and give us the high quality audio that we deserve at all price points. We all know that the new Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 platform is extremely powerful, bringing faster performance, more efficiency, improved AI, and killer camera features. But today I partnered with Qualcomm to tell you about the best kept secret of this new chipset, the massive audio quality leap that we're about to get with the improvements to Snapdragon Sound. Let's talk about it. Okay, so I already know what you're thinking. We've already seen spatial audio before, but this one is different because this is a unified platform with the end-to-end -end solution that could be applied across all Android devices and more. So spatial audio can make it into more people's ears and there's also so much more to Snapdragon sound that makes it so robust, like lossless audio over Bluetooth low energy. And some of the lowest latency that we've ever seen is perfect for gaming and improve ANC with adaptive transparency mode. Qualcomm provides this technology as a base for any OEM to use so they can use this as a solid foundation to release quality audio products at many different price points. Dinner for the family. But first, let's talk about why Qualcomm is delivering spatial audio to the masses. They surveyed 6,000 smartphone users on the State of Sound report that looked at what influences audio device purchases and 58% of respondents stated they're seeking either high resolution or lossless audio quality. And more than half of respondents claimed that spatial audio will have an influence on their decision to buy their next pair of true wireless earbuds. And 41% said that they would be willing to spend more for that feature. I got to try out that spatial audio here in Maui at Snapdragon Summit, and it worked just like I thought it would. There was a voice talking to me, giving me instructions. When I turned my head, the voice shifted, which was incredible. And then when I shifted back, the voice was precise and sharp, just like in real life. So if you haven't tried spatial audio yet, I'm sure you'll get to soon with Snapdragon Sound. Snapdragon Sound can also process in Dolby Atmos, which is great, but I can't wait to try gaming with spatial audio with true wireless earbuds. Okay, normally that wouldn't be a move for gamers, but with almost 50% improvement in latency over the last generation at 48 milliseconds with voice back channel for in-game chat, this could really win some gamers over. The next thing that I got to try was the multi-connection capabilities and it was seamless. There were two phones here being powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, and there were three reference headphones and they all were able to connect with ease, but the best part is different music was playing on each phone, but with just a simple double tap gesture, I was able to switch instantly to the other phone. I had too much fun playing with this feature. There might be some faces that you recognize in there. Let's go take a look. It's always nice to catch up with people that you haven't seen in a while. Now, another feature that I think is going to change the way that we listen in public is called AuraCast. That's gonna allow something like a TV to broadcast audio, like let's say in a bar like I was, or at a sports bar, where there's gonna be multiple TVs, you're gonna be able to walk in, and then you're just gonna be able to connect to the one that you wanna to listen to. Isn't that cool? I can see this being extremely popular at airports, but it's also gonna be great for just sharing audio with your friend. It's so much better than just giving them an earbud. What do you think? Just like last year, I had to try out lossless audio. I can't believe that this type of audio quality is coming over Bluetooth. It's really clean and crisp. What is new this year is that lossless audio can now happen over Bluetooth low energy, which is incredible. This means even if you're in a high congested area with a lot of Wi-Fi and Bluetooth traffic, like let's say if you're on a subway, you can still enjoy that high resolution audio. What's great is you don't even have to think about it. Snapdragon Sound dynamically adjusts for the best quality. Just look at that streaming bit rate that's adjusting on the fly. Yes, your eyes are not deceiving you. That is the bit rate. That's insane, isn't it? Next is active noise canceling. It's a must for me on any true wireless earbud. I have to have it. And of course, Qualcomm has improved it. They're on their third generation of adaptive ANC. The adaptive transparency mode is a big one to enjoy ANC but allow natural sound leaks when you need them. The automatic voice detection is a big one for me. Have you ever taken a phone call with active noise canceling on? Yeah, sounds pretty terrible, right? So adaptive ANC knows when you're talking and it automatically adjusts, so I think that's very smart. I can already see some of you thinking, this sounds great and all, but when are we actually going to see it? Because lossless adoption was a little bit slow last year, so how's it going to be any different this year? 
So buckle up for this one, this is huge. Bose just announced that they're going to push out an over-the-air software update to enable Snapdragon sound on the QuietComfort 2 earbuds. Those are already amazing, so I can't wait to see how this takes those to the next level. And on top of that, Bose also announced that there's a partnership with Qualcomm that they're going to push forward with Snapdragon Sound in all of their audio products moving forward. So this is a huge deal for adoption. I cannot wait for high quality audio to be pushed out to the masses. This is going to be huge. Just imagine I'm holding your face. This makes me very happy. Okay, another thing that I think will help tremendously in adoption is the two different platforms. The Qualcomm S5 Gen 2 platform will be for the high-end manufacturer that needs to have full control and tune their product to their specific sound. But the Qualcomm S3 Gen 2 platform will be more of a plug-and-play solution for OEMs to use to deliver high-quality audio products quickly to the masses at affordable prices. And that's with lossless audio, so we should see lossless audio come to more markets soon at more affordable prices, which no one is complaining about. And to top it off, all of this technology is coming to stereo headsets and optimized Bluetooth speakers. So this is going to be an amazing year for audio. Just had to get breakfast, some fuel up so I can get ready for the rest of the announcements that are happening here. So much more going on. I know it's just a small piece of the puzzle, but this is the thing that I'm most excited about. So let me know what you think. Are you excited about the improvements in Snapdragon Sound? Let me know in the comment section below. I'll see you guys in the next one.